Hi, I'm Chris Wilkinson, and this is Trailers from Hell. Now we're going to talk about another one of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day! Hi, I'm Chris Wilkinson, and this is Trailers from Hell. Now I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Now I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite movies, Groundhog Day, uh, which was written by Danny Rubin. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I'm Chris Wilkinson, and this is Trailers from Hell. Um, now I'm going to talk about another one of my favorite movies, uh, Groundhog Day, which was written by Danny Rubin and Harold Ramis and directed by Harold Ramis. Groundhog Day is a movie that sneaks up on you. At first, the film feels like a high concept, one trick pony, but the story is so entertaining, so perfectly crafted, so inevitable that its core concept becomes something profound. Bill Murray plays Phil, a jaded, bitter, cynical, egotistical, self-centered asshole who refers to himself as the talent and one of his colleagues as the hairdo. And Phil is equally contemptuous of everyone else around him. I'd be hard pressed to think of any other actor who could pull this character off to such amazing comic effect. Chance of departure today, 100%. He's stuck. Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Once Phil realizes he is stuck in a never-ending Groundhog Day, that he may be there for eternity, the screenwriters explore and exploit every ramification the situation presents. At first, he was a little anxious. Phil? What? Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. But now... We could do whatever we want. He's discovering the possibilities. Don't you worry about cholesterol? Why? And living life mm. like there's Phil? no tomorrow. Phil Connors! Ned! Because there isn't. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. But lurking at the center of this hilarity is a love story. And as Phil falls for his producer, Andy McDowell's Rita, he transforms. Till he gets it right. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I studied 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aime You speak French. Oui. Bill Murray. Andy McDowell. To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Astonishingly, by the end of the story, all Phil wants is to be a good man who deserves the woman he loves. The film somehow manages to present this Capra-esque redemption without the faintest whiff of smarm. The genius of Groundhog Day is that it delivers such a fundamentally sweet message without ever losing its edge. Life has a funny way of repeating itself. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat.